How's it going gang, it's the final render here. Fallout 76 has an amazing online community. And one of the greatest parts of the Fallout 76 online community is the community of people who love taking photos inside Fallout 76. There are huge communities of people on Twitter and Instagram who just adore taking beautiful screenshots of Appalachia and posting them online for their friends to see. Even Bethesda themselves will very regularly post fan submitted photos of Fallout 76 onto their Twitter for people to see. So in this video, we're going to honour the fantastic people in this community like Zero Fox FX and Appalachia Howie by going ahead and making a blue screen. But before we get into the video people, I have something very important to talk about. At this moment in time, Australia is currently going through one of the worst wildfire seasons the continent has ever seen. Over 12 million acres worth of land has been destroyed by fires, with dozens of people killed, hundreds of properties destroyed, and very shockingly, over 500 million animals have been killed in these wildfires, including vast quantities of the local indigenous wildlife that can only be found in Australia. It is currently estimated that 30% of the wild koala population has been killed and may no longer be sustainable in the wild and will go extinct without human intervention. So with all that in mind, on the 10th of January 2020 at lunchtime GMT, we are going to be starting a charity live stream, an emergency charity live stream where we are going to be raising money to help save the local indigenous wildlife that has been so devastatingly destroyed by these wild bushfires. We're going to be playing games, we're going to be having a lot of fun, hopefully get some guests online, and we will help this fantastic community of animals that has been so unjustly damaged by these wildfires. Please go ahead and click on the live stream that you can find in the description and hit the remind me button so you'll get a reminder when we start so that you can come into the live stream, donate some money to the charity and we can help save some of these beautiful animals that I just last month was able to see for the very first time when I went to Australia. So thank you very much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in the charity live stream in just a few days. So here we are inside my Fallout 76 camp everybody. This is a camp that we actually do have a video already on and it's a very cool camp. It's got a beautiful aesthetic and it's in a great location. We get trouble from the odd Yogwai every now and then, but this camp is right outside Nuclear Site Alpha, which is great for trading. It means people come here and buy ammo before launching their nukes, which is great. But something which I also love about this camp it's just the aesthetic itself because it feels like an actual campsite and it's got all the space for amenities like farming, trading and crafting. But of course, every time I do one of these videos, I have to get rid of my camp entirely. But I want to keep this one for a while because I like it. So we're just going to modify it. We're actually going to remove the sleeping area, which honestly, I don't actually use that much. So what we're going to do to build our blue screen in order to start taking photos to put onto Twitter and Facebook and Instagram is to go and build a one foundation by two foundation wide half building. And then this building will be one and a half walls high with a slanted roof. We specifically want a slanted roof because shadows are harder to build in the slanted roof. So therefore we have this building which has got minimal use of shadows in there and it's very, very simple to construct. Anybody with basic building equipment can go and build that. And of course it is a blue screen, so we need some blue walls. We're going to go with the cornflower blue wallpaper, which I believe was free in the Atomic Shop, and some very simple black laminate in order to just kind of reduce the amount of harshness on our eyes essentially. Once that is done, I need to build some lighting racks. So to do that, I'm going to line up a corner conduit with the corner of our blue screen, and then build towards the front with the straight power conduits. This is so I ensure the lighting rail is completely straight, and exactly in line with the back of the blue screen. So what I'm building here is the lights which will light up our character in front of the blue screen. And the main thing you need to remember with blue screen and green screen is the lighting needs to be balanced and it needs to be even. So we actually have a great set of lights here which will actually fill the entire width of the lighting rack to light our character. But as you can see, whilst it's even, it's not balanced, it's too bright. It's actually washing out our character. So what we need to do instead is use these individual track lights and hopefully line them up properly, try our best to line them up exactly evenly so we don't actually have too many hot spots on the back of our screen. And then of course we do the exact same but closer to the green screen. This is what we will actually use to light up the wall itself. 
So the front lights will light up the character and the back ones will light up the wall perfectly evenly. And then you can start taking photos, which you can get ready to post onto Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. And if you're like me on PC, you might even be able to use Nvidia Ansel in order to take 2 and 4K resolution photos, which is very, very cool. It's got some very nice AI kind of upscaling in there. And then once it is done, we're going to bring it into Adobe After Effects to start keying it out. And in order to key it, we're going to use quite an advanced tool, not a cheap and easy one. We're going to use a tool called Keylight. Drag that onto our photo there, grab the pipette tool, and then with the control button, click on the blue. And now we have actually got a really nice amount of the blue removed. But as you can see, if we remove the transparent background, it's not quite right. We can see little bits of the blue that are still left over. But there's nothing to worry about. This is very common with blue screening and green screening. You don't often get it right straight away. So what we need to do is turn on the screen matte view mode. So we are essentially now looking at what the computer sees. And computers see things as bright, meaning on, and dark, meaning off. So what we need to do is mess with the clip black and clip white values in order to make it so the background we want to get rid of is completely dark and the figure we want to keep is completely white. So that's what the computer is seeing. The computer is seeing the person as completely bright and the background is completely dark. So in other words, the background is gone. But we do have a little bit of trouble, as you can see on some of the finer details. We have a little bit of the background coming through still. So what we need to do then is grab our screen shrink and grow value and then set that to minus two. So we actually remove two pixels on the edge of our character here. And that is very simple keying, people. Keying is actually a very complex procedure and normally takes a long time in proper movies. But for YouTube, Instagram and photos, you can get away with a cheaper way like that. And you can start messing around. You can put your character into actual scenes inside Fallout if you want to, like this nice shot I did earlier in After Effects. Or if you want to be really cool, you can even set up tracking markers using the letters and then put your character in a completely different 3D environment. That's just a bit of fun. And overall, guys, go out, build your blue screen, and just have a bit of fun. And also, Bethesda, can we please just get an actual green screen? That would be amazing, I think. There is a fantastic community of people online in the Fallout 76 community who love taking beautiful photos. And I think if you're one of those people, this will be a great thing to install in your camp so you can start having some fun with your photos and being a little bit crazier with it than you normally would be. Very easy to make, very simple to do. And obviously because it's inside, it means we actually don't get much trouble with the weather and with the sun. It means you can pretty much use this at any time of day. And overall, it's also just something that's a little bit different. That definitely attracts people to your camp and it looks very, very cool overall. So thank you very much for watching this video, people. It's been a very cool one. Remember to check out the cool Patreon people in the description below who help support the channel with their donations. And remember, people, we are doing our special charity live stream on the 10th of January. Please be there so we can do some real good. And I can't wait to see you guys for our 12-hour charity live stream. Bye-bye, gang.